Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's reading, we're doing spiritual check-in. Let's find out what's happening around you. A lot of my friends here on YouTube know that I went on vacation. So yes, I've been away, but I'm back and I'm better and I'm happy and I'm stress-free and we're excited. So please pause the video if needed. We got here a deodorant with my ethereal visions, a bell. And we have here this beautiful statue lady. And yeah, pause the video if needed. Let's go. I missed you guys. Oh my God. So for my viewers that picked pile number one with the deodorant, we have here the secret deodorant. So the way it works here on this channel is that I speak a little bit faster because the messages come in faster. So please, if you have to slow down the video, please do so. And don't mind my voice, guys. Y'all already know I had fun on this vacation. So let's see here. Spiritual check-in, spiritual check-in. As soon as I picked out the deodorant for this group, I just got to say something. The shit is floating. I got a message. The shit is floating. If some of you guys thought that um something happened, shit got away with it, the co-worker lied on you and got away with it, they snitched on you for no reason, something about somebody tried to put you down or put something that was going to be an obstacle for you, whether it was at work, a family dilemma, it's being cleared. You'll see the light and you'll have a chance to walk away from this person. Don't mind my doggy. So somebody was being messy in a way where I'm, I'm not going to lie, pile number one. Maybe you did whatever you did. Okay, fine. But this person had no place in trying to put you down or trying to make you out to be a villain or even try to get you fired or spread your business, okay? Yes, maybe the things didn't work out between you and your friend, but they didn't have to tell your business. Or they, or that family member, they didn't have to go so low over something so small, okay? So that's the message that I'm getting here for somebody. Somebody here is a Pisces, Taurus, Libra. <laughs> Somebody here is very beautiful. Somebody here is very beautiful. I heard somebody's pH balance is going back to normal. Yes, yes, pH balance. Once you leave that bad D, pH balance back to normal. I, I don't know who needed to hear that. Spiritual check-in. Somebody has an auntie that used to smoke a lot of cigarettes. They're watching over you, okay? They love you very much. And they want to say that they're very proud of you and that you're becoming very beautiful or you're glowing up and you're glowing and your life is getting better. That's what somebody has to say here. So let's take the cards out. I'm done with the spiritual check-in. Thank you so much for um, all the ancestors and spirit guides, entities, whoever is here right now in this room. I'm coming in with love. Please deliver lovable messages, messages of guidance here for all of my friends on YouTube that I love so much, okay? Two of Pentacles in the reverse, strength, upright, seven of Pentacles, and then we have here the world. What did I say? What did I say? Um, I, I see drama in the family home will be cleared. Baby, stop arguing. Stop it. You're not going to go anywhere. You know that you cannot win arguments in this situation. You know you cannot defend yourself the way that you would like to. You know they're not going to listen to you. So why are you going to waste your peace? Let people say whatever they want about you and just keep it going. Your peace is more valuable than you entering a war, stressing yourself out, trying to prove a point that will never be seen. Prove the point to yourself. Stop going back and forth with people that don't want to see your side of the story. It's not worth it. And if they and if they didn't believe you and if they thought differently of you, then let them be that because that's what they thought about you in the first place. Why are you trying to switch it? Just let them show you who they are. We have here, somebody's debating whether they want to get another, another job. Somebody's debating between jobs, spiritual check in here. Somebody's debating between a job. They're saying take the job that is closer to home. Closer to home. I heard that closer to home. I don't know why. Um, it'll be easier for you and you'll love it. I don't know if you need to hear that strength. Somebody here is working too damn hard. Somebody here is working too much. You're picking up those shifts, sweetheart. You think that the money is going to be bigger, but no, but no, your health comes first. What's going to happen when you make all this money, all these savings, but you can't even, you can't even enjoy it because your knees are, your knees are bad. Your back is hurting. Um, you know, you're losing hair because you're losing sleep. Um, please, somebody here needs to prioritize your sleep. 
um beautiful beautiful somebody here is getting a promotion from work so spirit wants to let me know stop trying so hard you're gonna get it don't be a kiss don't be kissing nobody ass at work for that promotion because it's yours already so somebody need to hear that somebody need to watch out with a gemini a gemini here um they're talking a lot of crap about your love life they're talking crap about your children be very wary of a gemini the world somebody needs to start um Loving more on their body. I heard water spells. Um, yeah, I already know what we do out here. Um, I, I do water spells um, all the time, but, you know, you know, this water will make me feel more better about my body. This, this water will make me feel more comfortable about my body. That's the time for me to take a sip of water. Thank you so much, guys. I don't know, man. I came back from this on vacation. I just have like this burst of energy. It's like, you know, everybody's been missing me. Like I feel that energy. Oh my God, the goosebumps is crazy right now. Pound number one, I'm not gonna lie. I'm so sorry if the messages are too freaking fast for you guys, but I just can't. I have too many messages right now. I haven't been on on my lovely channel for a long time. I will say 11 days. It's a long time for me. You guys know that um everything I do here, I do it with love and I just, I love what I do. Um, okay, the world, the world, the world, the world. Somebody is going to be healing quick from a surgery. Take, yo, be patient. Be patient. It's reminding me when I got my surgery. Um, I was rushing. I was rushing to heal. And it just put so much pressure on my body. And it, and it created the opposite. Okay, stop rushing to heal from things. Your body wants your love. They want your patience. Okay, your body is your, te your temple. So be very nice to it, okay? Um... We have here a Leo. This, somebody has the Leo in their life that's very disrespectful. I say don't take disrespect from nobody. But hey, if you guys feel like this is somebody that needs to be in your life, learn how to place boundaries. Limit time with people that um disrespect you, please. Because it's not doing you good. It's not doing you justice. It's draining your energy. It's draining your vibration. It's bringing those vibrations lower. What do I say on this channel when um vibrations get lower? Everything goes lower. Money, beauty. Um, everything goes lower. Blockages starts happening. So we gotta put, we gotta clear our path, okay, by knowing what's right for us. Because if not, it can bring our, it can bring our aura down. Let's see here more messages. What's happening around my pal number one? I heard family from Trinidad. I don't know who had to hear that. Family from Trinidad. Family somewhere. There's, yo, there's a lot of drama in somebody's family here. And it could be about finances. They're saying stay away from it. Stay, when somebody asks you about your opinion on something, please do not say nothing. Because you will get dragged in it, all right? Don't say absolutely nothing. Learn the hard way here. When it comes to family, sometimes you got to keep your mouth shut. We try to always, you know, prove our point, And we just end up falling on our face, all right? Um, proving nothing. Um, just destroying our peace. I don't know if you need to hear that. Somebody here got an older son that um, does not have good friends. Somebody here has an older son in high school. They, You need to watch their friends. You need to watch um, who are they surrounding themselves with. I recommend having having good conversations. You know, hey, how you been? How's it going? How's your friends? You know, what do they do? You know, try to have a relationship with your kids beyond parents and kid. And I'm not saying, you know, let your kids wall up over you, you know, they're not your best friend, you know, but sometimes it has to be a beautiful balance of connection, of parenting, and also being very understanding and open-minded, okay? Um, I don't need to do, I don't know who needed to hear that. Ten of Wands in the reverse with the Seven of Swords. Somebody is feeling, somebody, somebody is feeling bad for something that they did to you. But it's more because you now are now minding your business with the star. You're now mind minding your business. You're now putting more water into things that matter in your life. Pile number one. Sagittarius here. Um, Capricorn as well. Which, you know, I did mention a couple signs in the beginning. But this could be rising also in suns. So, you know, we have a lot of um different signs in our chart. So watch out for those. Somebody here needs, needs to protect their home. Stop bringing in people in your home that do not bring nothing. But they, they as soon as they walk into your door, they're talking about their problems. 
watch out for those people make sure you're cleaning your home i'm getting a lot of goosebumps here there has to be a lot of protection in the home for somebody here ten of pentacles five of wands in the reverse there has to be some sort of protection um lovely energy though i don't see people getting away with things here okay i feel like somebody here had a lot of people trying to get away with things, trying to be manipulative, trying to be liars here. I don't think anything is, like, nothing is going past that. Five of Wands in reverse. Nothing is going past that, all right? So don't worry. Don't stress about it. When you hear somebody saying, well, they said this and they did this, well, that's their problem. <clears throat> I don't know who needed to hear that. Somebody here is encountering too much stress. Problem number one. Somebody here has too much stress. You need to start doing things that you like. You need to sleep more. Sleeping does not mean you're lazy. I don't know who the hell... It, you're, no. The older people in your life are not going to tell you the right things. Just because they broke their backs in their 20s does not mean that you have to sit... You have to work your ass off in your 30s and your 40s and your 20s working ass off. What are you... You working to die? Who is working here to die? You better stop overworking yourself. Somebody here keeps overworking themselves and I'm getting a headache. I'm not trying to be negative, guys. I love uh, bringing in positivity for you guys, but I'll be rude as hell if I hide things that I see here on this channel. I don't like it. Um, work on that. Because somebody here needs to realize that working harder does not equal more money. And if you are embedding those beliefs in your mind, you are in it for a long ride, Okay relaxing can also bring you abundance i don't know who needed to hear that i'm not saying stay in bed all day every day 24 hours but relax you know take it slow uh, take your job with ease um let's see here spiritual check-in around my pound number two, one i maybe you need to go visit pound two because i just said that somebody keep getting migraines here Somebody, the migraines, you need a, you need you, you need to drink some tea. It's a tea that you need to drink. <coughs> Somebody here need to drink a tea that's good for um migraines. Um oh, to go to sleep. I keep hearing chamomile. Somebody here, you can't sleep, you haven't migraines, you need to drink some tea before bed. <clears throat> the sleeping pills are not gonna keep working, you're gonna get addicted. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <clears throat> This is very, very heavy. <coughs> Unfortunately, you guys, a lot of the readings that I do say here are true. They do come for a lot of people that watch me. So some things will resonate with you and some things won't. But that's okay because there's a lot of people that are going to be watching. And, you know, most of the times I do resonate with people that I do watch. And remember to subscribe because it's easier to pick up on your energy. Ten of Cups. In the reverse. Mm -mm -mm. Nine of Pentacles, Eight of Wands. Okay, this is pretty, pretty, pretty beautiful. Um, somebody here it just recently moved. Um, recently bought a house. Don't be in a rush to furnish your apartment. I know you want it so beautiful. I know you want your house so beautiful, but take it slow. Take it slow. That's what you're just saying. That you're that you're gonna have all the money you need to furnish it, to do everything you want to do, to to buy it. Whatever it is that you're planning on, you're, you're going to be able to do that. You're going to be able to accomplish that. I don't know. Somebody needed to hear this. A king of wands. Fireside Sagittarius. I'm getting a little bit of air here as well. Gemini Sagittarius. I did say that a Gemini... What, didn't I say that a Leo was being disrespectful earlier? Okay, but this... There's a, a male energy here. Whether this is... Somebody you're dating in a relationship with, this person is going to be leveling you up. This is a spiritual check-in right now. If you are wondering, you are in a relationship right now. This is for my people in relationships. I'm not talking to singles. Relationships only. Somebody will be leveling you up. <clears throat> Somebody will be leveling you up in this moment. Somebody that you're with. And maybe things were rocky. Maybe you were unsure about this relationship. Maybe you felt like, you know, maybe you guys weren't clicking. Or maybe you were arguing a lot. One thing that... um. You guys have to keep in mind about marriage. Uh, people that have been in marriages, they can tell you all the time. Arguments do happen. There'll be moments and periods of times where you will not get along with your partner. 
but it's about how you guys are able to handle it together how you're able to fix it together how you're able to bring your your situation together for a better outcome okay it's not you versus them it's you guys versus the problem for my singles here If you feel like dating is hard, it's going to be hard. If you feel like finding the right person is hard, it's going to be hard. I'm going to need you to be the person that you want to meet. I'm going to need you to pamper yourself. I'm going to need you to take yourself out. Okay? Um, a lot of you guys are too... I'm, I don't want to say overly independent, but... You, you've been very comfortable being alone. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. But it has totally closed you off to the idea or the energy of even having a person. So you crave it, but your actions show that you don't want it, that you don't need it, and you don't like it, and you run away, okay? You you think people are going to hurt you way before they even start talking to you. That's already manifesting the situation. So... Think you deserve love, okay? Because you love yourself and you deserve the best, all right? And let me tell you something. A person that's coming into your life is not to um, make you love yourself more or make you feel like you're deserving. You have to feel that already. You have to feel like you already deserve the best of the best, all right? Before the best comes, okay? And knows that you're the best, all right? So I don't even need to hear that, Um Get out of your way. Single, get out of your way. Please. You're you're manifesting um relationships not working out, okay? For people in complicated relationships. I I'm getting the energy to pick up more cards. Their family doesn't like you. That's not the, that's not your problem. If they have children with somebody else and that person doesn't like you, that's not your problem. You just got to make sure that you are mature enough to handle yourself and your emotions, okay? Let people do whatever they want to do. When people want to act out and when people want to get disrespectful, rude, and they want to get spiteful, you got to let them. Because I've been talking about this on this channel a lot, the Tom and Jerry effect. When somebody trying to mess up what you got going on without you moving a finger, they will mess themselves up, okay? But the moment you retaliate, the moment that you give that energy, the light, whatever, the light of the day... You're kind of calling it to yourself, all right? You're kind of believing it and you're kind of accepting what they had said or told you, okay? So the reverse happens, um, all right? So with the magician in reverse here, somebody thinks that somebody put a, a spell on them? No. That's not happening. The magician in reverse with the lovers in reverse. Stop thinking that your love life is bugged because an ex put something on you. I'm sorry, that's not happening here. That's what it says. So get it out your mind, please, before it really manifests. <laughs> um, Ten of Cups in the reverse. Okay, people, I said in the complicated relationships right now, I know things that may seem complicated. You might feel like you want to run away. But with the Seven of Swords upright, somebody in a complicated situation, the light will be shown. You will see something in that person's phone. You will see something. You will hear something. Your dream will tell you something. Watch it. It's a pentacles. And you will know. Last couple of messages here on the spiritual check-in for my pile number ones. Let's see. Money. Spiritual check-in. The emperor. A, a lot of bosses here. A lot of people planning to be bosses. A lot of people dreaming, planning. If you feel like you got to be, you want to be a boss. Not everybody wants to be a boss, okay? So this is for my people that um want to. You feel like you want to be a boss. Start by knowing what you want. A lot of people, they say, I want to be a boss. I don't know how the hell I'm going to be it. What do you want? What do you want to do? What do you want to establish? What do you think you like? Okay, start with what you think. Some people here in the job force, you have, an, you have a boss that's ignoring you overlooking you you've been working for so so long and they don't give you the promotion they overlook you um they like to bring in new people and make them feel like they're better or like in a higher pedestal they're saying know your worth place your boundaries 
and don't take disrespect lightly, even if it's from a boss. Um, yes, I said it. Oh my God, Jamie, you're gonna get me fired. No. If you feel disrespected by a boss, you should. You have every right to come up to that boss and be like, "Listen, I don't like how I'm being treated here." You know, what what's the worst that can happen? If they fire you, <laughs> listen, guys. There's there's worker rights. If you don't have worker rights, you you can get them. Okay. I know there's a lot of people that watch me from other countries, but there's a boss here that has to be checked. Okay, and the only way that this boss will respect you is if you respect yourself enough to stand up to them. I don't know who needed to hear that. That message is not for everybody. But there's also an Aries here that's going to be a good business partner. I don't know who needed to hear this. An Aries in your life will be a good business partner. So that's all for today. Okay, um, I'm getting birthdays in um, March, June. And I'm getting names like Frank, Lisa, and Melanie. So please... <laughs> don't be scared to click on the other readings if you're drawn to it thank you so much for clicking on this video bye guys so for my viewers that picked problem number two with the bell i think it's time for somebody to wake up i don't know who had to hear that uh today we're doing a spiritual check-in um reading um i'm not gonna lie we lie if i said that my head didn't start pounding as soon as i clicked on this reading you could have been attracted to problem number two uh, some of you guys need a spiritual cleanse ASAP. Um, how can you do a spiritual cleanse? Beautiful. Um, I say, um, water. Hello. Go, get in the shower. Imagine all the negativity just running down of it. Um, a prayer will work lovely for minds that believe um in God, regardless of who your God is. Okay, prayers work. Water, like we can use elements that nature provides us. You know, people use roses, flowers, cinnamon. You know, all types of things. But, you know, you can never go wrong with water and some salt, okay? Let's see here. Spiritual check-in for my boss. So, we got the bell here. And let me tell y'all something. I know the things that I have on the cards might be, like, objects, regular objects. But I'm telling you right now, they mean something. And the bell, it's very alarming. Um, It wants to wake you up about something. <clears throat> Maybe wake you up about the way you've been thinking about yourself and others okay maybe you've been very harsh to yourself maybe you've been harsh to others that's not your fault but it can be fixed let's see here that's what i'm getting for somebody here and somebody had to hear this too the loudest in the room is not the toughest it's not i don't know who needed to hear that because the bell alarming Spiritual check-in. Make sure you put that alarm before work or before you go to bed. Somebody's going to probably forget about their alarm. Yeah, better check them alarms before you hit that bed. <laughs> I don't know why that came up here. Somebody named Jessica with green eyes here watching me. Shout out to you, Jessica. Um, They want to say, hey, what up? You doing a good job. I don't know who needed to hear that. Jessica, Jessie Marie, Jessenia. You don't have to have green eyes, though. Three of Pentacles in the reverse, Knight of Cups, Eight of Swords. Baby, why are you still with this person? You know what they're doing behind your back. You've been forgiven a cheating person or somebody that's been doing things behind your back. They're going to keep doing it, baby. It's like, um, how can I explain it? Um, when you, you, okay, let's use my dogs, for example. When I let my dogs get away with things, they do it again and again and again and again. If I don't do a timeout, you know, or take away their toys, you're never going to learn. So the time out here is time for you to get the hell out. That's the time out because this person, they're not going to change. The holidays is coming. Somebody's very nervous about their family, what their family's going to say. Don't go. Don't go where you're not loved. That's what somebody's saying here. Don't go where you're not loved this year. It's time to change. It's time to do things that make us happy, not anxious, worried, and mad and drained. Okay? If going to see your family creates all of those emotions for you, baby, just stay home. Just stay home. Because I'm going to tell you right now, it ain't going to be worth it. Because the same feelings that you're feeling is your body telling you that it's the same thing that's coming and coming and coming. Okay, people don't change. 
You cannot change people. They change at their own moment. Okay, but you know what you could do? You could change you could change the way that you interact with them. You could change how much time they get around you. Okay, so you're in power. And why do I feel like you feel powerless? You feel powerless in a relationship or in a situation here. Spiritual check-in, please. You got this. You got this. You are the power. Let people value you, okay? Everybody's going to like a people pleaser. Everybody's going to like a doormat because they do everything that everybody wants. But once you place them boundaries, it's okay for people not to like you because you like you and you love you and you know you. Somebody here is a Gemini. Shout out to you. My Gemini people here watching. Yeah, I know I'm a Gemini. I rock with Geminis. Um, <laughs> not all Geminis, but hey, um, that's another story. What was I going to say here for somebody here? Um, don't trust your coworkers. Spiritual check in here. Somebody stop telling your business to your coworkers. Stop it. They're not your friends. They're people that have to tolerate you and you have to tolerate them and you have to see them. Okay, not saying be a B-I-T-C-H, but baby, have some privacy. You know, keep things to yourself sometimes because it's not going to be working in your favor. It, it, uh, uh, you, there's somebody here, you know, applying. Y'all got to understand that when you go to these workplaces, everybody is fighting for a higher position. Okay, um, thank you. Competition exists at work. Thank you. Nine of Cups in the reverse. There's this, there's this ex coming back. They're going to make you feel bad for leaving them. My life was so bad when you left. My dad, my mom, this happened. Oh, my God. You better not fall for that again. That's what they're saying. Eight of five. Ten of Cups in the reverse. You will repeat a cycle. You will repeat a cycle if you take that ex back. I don't know who needed to hear that. Judgment upright. Parliament too, don't, don't feel anxious or feel like people are judging you. Don't let people, don't, don't think that you are the center of attention in other people's lives. I'm not trying to put you down in that way. I'm just saying, stop caring if people are going to judge you or what people are going to be judging you of. Because let me tell you something, they're going to judge about something. They're going to find something to judge. All right. Uh, Stop being so hard on yourself. You will never be perfect to people that never, never, never show you love or they're just, you're just never enough for them. There's always better. There's always something nicer out there. You will never be enough for those type of people. Okay, stop putting yourself down for people that wouldn't even elevate you. People that wouldn't even do shit for you. Okay, that's the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. People feeling bad about what other people think about them that will never do anything for them. That's a damn shame. So, um, somebody want to say here that you're so valuable that you don't even understand it. I'm getting it again. Diamond in a trash can. You are a diamond in a trash can right now, sweetie. And the alarm that, this is the alarm. You're waking up to that. Eight of swords. You're waking up about your, your life. Baby, what doesn't feel good is just not for you. When things are bad for us, they're bad. Don't think I was reading this book again. Um, I forgot where is it? Oh, I need to show it to you guys. Um, it's called When You're Ready to Heal. Um, it's called um the opposite of knowing something that's bad for you is not knowing that something is great for you. It's being literally bad for you. Okay, the opposite of knowing something that's good for you. Is being uncertain. Like you don't know. You know. You don't know nothing. Like it's good. But you're not certain. That's the opposite of good. In situations. Relationships. Partnerships. Front. Everything. But baby. When it's bad. It's bad. There's no opposite of that. It's bad. Then you gotta go. Okay. Because the more you stick. And you stick. You stick to this line. And th this person's paper. You are dragging yourself down. You are extending 
your purpose, your path. You're making your path longer. So who needed to hear that word? It doesn't feel good. Just don't be there. Sorry. Let's see her spiritual checking for. Let's see her spiritual checking for my pal number two. Then we're looking at complicated relationships, singles, and relationships. Let's see here what's happening here. People in complicated relationship, if that person is not getting their money up, if that person doesn't care about their finances, if that person doesn't care about their health, if that person doesn't care about their living situation, that person does not care about you. How can you love me and you don't love yourself to have your shit together? Can I repeat that for you guys? How can you love me and you... Wait a minute. How can you love me when you don't even love yourself enough to have your shit together? Okay, don't go, please, please. And, it, and it's not always about money. It can be about health too. You know, that person is running through them diabetes and, you know, you feel bad for them, but they don't even feel bad for themselves. So their time is ticking and they're selfish enough to not care about how are you going to feel at the end if they ever, you know what I mean? So it doesn't matter. The situations are not always about cheating and finances, but listen, if they don't love themselves enough to fix the situation, to make things right, then baby, you already know where you're, you're not, that's not where you're supposed to be at. That's that. People in relationships, please, um, get freaky, baby. Do it in the cabinet, in the kitchen count. Do it somewhere different. Um, uh, spice things up, please. I see here a lot of boredom, a lot of same old routines here for my married in relationships, in healthy relationships, because not everybody's going through it in relationships. Um, I should have added that in the beginning of the video because now everybody that clicked POW 2 are probably going to click off because you're going to think, damn, Jenny, my man not cheating or my girl, whatever. Um, one thing that I need to know, yeah, I need to stick through the video, please. Don't leave right away. Um... Somebody need to spice things up here in the relationship. Somebody needs to bring something different here. Okay? Because if you feel bored, your partner's bored, is because maybe you guys are not having fun together. So whatever means fun for you guys, please do it. Um, people in complicated relationships. That person is not leaving that... That person is not leaving their wife or their kid. They're not leaving whoever they're with for you. Whoever's in a complicated relationship, oh, because they're with their BM, they're with their B-daddy. Baby... They're where they want to be. You're just a placeholder. You're just a little entertainment on the side. I'm sorry. I love you. Why would I lie to you? That person hasn't left their wife or their husband or their girlfriend or their boyfriend or their baby mother. Oh, because the children, this, the third, the house, the money. The blah, 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 blah. That's, they don't want you like that. They don't want you like that and they're wasting your time. Go find the love of your life, please. Let's see your money. Um, Let's talk about money here. Spiritual check-in, I hear about money, let's go. Um, we doing everything, money, family, people around us. That money is coming. You guys been waiting for some a, a lawsuit, court, um, child support money, that's coming, that's coming, but you gotta be patient. Be patient and forget about it. A lot of you guys, y'all wake up, y'all think about it, y'all go to bed, y'all think about it. Relax, let it go, it's yours. When you're thinking about something like, so like, desperately like that you think that you know you know you're thinking about the worst case scenarios that you know maybe i won't get it you know that's bad you got to you know there's no bad and good here but hey it's just not gonna work it's not gonna help you just know that it's not gonna help you all right overthinking about it if it's yours already why would you stress about it if them pair of sneakers was already in your closet you wouldn't be thinking about them or thinking about getting them all right so please that is coming, but you got to be patient. It's going to take about seven months for you to get that money. Something about seven months, seven days, the seventh month, maybe next year, July. I'm so sorry, but it will be worth it. That money is going to be worth it. Okay.
some of you guys got fired from your job oh i'm so sorry uh, you got fired somebody got fired here or they got let go or like they're like not needed or like replaced or suspended here baby when one door closes because the better one is on its way and don't think that what i'm saying is vague oh well i got bills to pay all that all that talk talk jaylene that's not gonna help me pay my bills yes it will um yes it will um something that me and my friends here on youtube we practice is magic and one of the number one things that we all know when we're magical beings is that the power is within us within us so don't think we're talking about fairies and stuff like that when i say magic the magic within us is the magic of our thoughts and the magic of how you know our words can be become reality our mindsets can become a reality our thoughts so one of my things here is Think that you got it already. You're going to have jobs lined up for you. You're going to have three jobs. They're saying pick the one where the environment feels the most comfortable. A lot of a lot of us, we get into jobs. Oh, they're paying good. But damn, the bosses. But damn, the people are disrespectful. But damn, um, you know, I don't like it. Okay. Pick what you like. Pick what you're comfortable with. Pick what's right for you. Don't pick it because of the money. Don't pick it because... You think that you really, really need it. Pick it because you want it. Not because you need it, you want it. Maybe you maybe you do need it a little bit. Maybe. But want it. You're like, ah, I got to go get this damn job. You know? Uh, but somebody needs to hear that the, the job is going to be lined up on the 11th of some day. Okay? The 11th of some day. Maybe you had the interview already. Today's the 11th, right? I think. Okay, or no, tomorrow's going to be the 11th. Three of Pentacles. Co-workers transpire. Um, pound number um two, nobody's against you. Relax, sweetheart. People love you. You're amazing. People don't hate you. Um, Yeah, there's going to be people that just are not going to be your bubble. They're not going to be your cup of tea. And hey, sometimes you're not going to be that person's cup of tea. But that doesn't mean that you're less than or you're not worthy or, you know, you're not cool enough. Okay, don't let anybody make you feel bad. If a person is making you feel like left out or like you're not deserving or like you're not smart enough. Blah, 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 baby, that's dumb. And the people around them. That's not you. All right. So please know your value. I heard diamond in a trash can. You don't know your worth. You don't know your value, okay? I'm here to tell you, you're worth more than anything here, okay? You deserve the, the big lifestyle. You deserve the nice things. You deserve the luxuries. And you deserve to love yourself. So, yeah, keep that in mind here. More messages for my spiritual check-in. I, get, I keep getting three, three, threes here. Somebody could be 33, 30. Somebody here just turned 30. Baby, you not old. 30s is the new 20s. I don't know who needed to hear that. And 40s is the new 30s. That's what my mom be saying. Um, I keep getting a nine of, knight of swords. And I got the knight over there. Don't be lowering your standards for people here. Um, somebody here thinks, well, you know, I don't like men like this. And I don't like women like that do this and that. But, you know, I haven't had somebody in a while. Maybe I should just do it. Um, Excuse me. What are you doing? How you set these standards for yourself? How you say I like this and I like that and then you just go for the opposite? Like like you're desperate for, for crumbs, for the worst out there. Um, life be testing us like that sometimes. Life wants to find out if we really, really want what we want for ourselves. Okay? Or, or, if, or if we're just bullshitting, all right? So when we put these standards for ourselves and then we settle for the worst, what do you think happens? Yeah, the worst happens. All right, so please, guys, know your standards. Stick with them, and don't date because you're desperate. Date because you can do that. Because you love yourself, and you're not worried about you know being hurt or not you know getting married early enough or soon enough. Like you're desperate. No, love is there. The love of your life is looking for you as much as you're looking for them. Somebody needed to hear that. All right, please stay confident in who you are. And, you know, I always say on this channel, love yourself. But it's so hard sometimes nowadays with social media and all these comparisons. But all you got to know, guys, if you believe, if you just start fooling yourself that you're the hottest thing in the world, baby, 
it, it's gonna stick it's gonna stick that's my biggest trick to people I'll be a liar here if I said that I didn't feel ugly in my life. I felt like an ugly duckling. I felt like I was not a beauty standard at all. I'll be lying, okay? And yeah, maybe some of you guys are watching me like, girl, what the hell? Yeah, all right? So please, you know, sometimes we don't see what's in front of us, even if it's the mirror, <laughs> right? <laughs> Last couple of messages for my spiritual check. And this was a lovely reading. I really love this energy with you guys. Um, thank you to answers any anybody here watching. Somebody keeps trying for pregnancy here. Baby, give us six months. Be easy on yourself. Um, you know, the right things comes at the right time. All right. Sometimes people start trying for children and they get very discouraged right away. They think, oh my god, this never will happen. No, baby. You just got off of birth control. Your body needs to um realize hey you can do it now um i don't know who needed to hear that shit i just be chatting on this channel but a lot of the things i say be true okay so uh, believe me um look at the comments <laughs> but i love you guys and i always try to um bring in the best messages that i can for you guys to help everybody all right because when i help you i help myself we have here um the nine of wands with the nine of pentacles in the reverse stop stressing about money babe it's coming and if you don't got it, if you feel like the brokest thing in the world right now, if you feel like, damn, bottom of the barrel, I ain't get shit done in my life. I don't know what life has become for me. Just living should be enough for you to be proud of yourself. The fact that you're standing, you're talking, you're living, you're lovable, you can drink water, you can move your arms, you can dance, you can whatever the hell you can do. Because I know you can do a lot. If you woke up this morning, you did something. That's enough for you to feel like you have a purpose, to feel like you're enough. I'm telling you right now, the materialistic things, they're wonderful. Who who doesn't want to have a rocking car and a, and a closet full of luxuries? But let me tell you something. Once you hit that casket, baby, none of that shit is coming. <laughs> none of it. So be proud of who you are now and don't be so hard on yourself. And watch life bless you. Love yourself and watch life love you. I don't know who needed to hear that. And I need a lot of people that watch me to keep their heads up. A lot of the world shit is happening. You know, people are losing their jobs to robots. You know, things is happening in the world that are not fair, that are not, that are not just. But I'm going to need you to look at the light the light of the things. Because if we focus on always what is going wrong, that's the only thing we're going to see. What's going wrong. Even if there's a hundred problems in your life, I'm going to need you to look at that one thing that's going well. Doesn't matter what it is. Please, baby, be grateful for today. That's what the spirits want to say here. Nine of Wands with the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Be kind to yourself and we're going to be kind to you. Stop being your own hell. Your body is supposed to be your peace. Don't we... Shit, aren't we in hell? Why would you create a hell in your inside of your body? Okay, last couple of messages here from my beautiful pile number twos. Lovable. <laughs> my lovable pile number two here. The star in reverse with the page of pentacles. Put yourself first. Start thinking about things that you want to do. Start thinking about places that you want to go to. Start thinking about what you want to do for yourself put yourself first i know you have children i know you have responsibility i know you have parents that you got to take care of but please put yourself first your body's gonna thank you um your mind will your life will and you'll see the shifts happening in your life okay so that's all that i'm getting here thank you so much somebody here is a taurus libra and aquarius watching me here um hi susan or lucas or john watching me here i know these names are coming out but also i'm getting a, a a big jessica here i know i said jessica earlier i don't know why jessica keeps coming up for my for my names here sometimes i do get names it's just a shout out from your beings okay all right so that's all for today thank you so much guys for clicking on this reading bye guys spiritual check-in here we have Pal number three. Um, with this the beautiful statue lady. And it just reminds me of somebody in my life. Very confident. Um, 
just ready to take on the world okay so i'm already getting the vibe this is gonna be a very positive reading here i'm not saying that my other piles were negative no i'm not saying that but i'm saying that this one reading right here it's very lovable i get a very lovable vibe here i think a lot of you guys been doing the work um a lot of you guys have been treating yourself um you have been doing the work the shadow the healing the loving everything um boundaries and check everything this is somebody that's um a veteran here on this channel okay you're a veteran you know what i be talking about all right and um you watch me and i feel like a lot of you guys here that do watch me that pick this pile you've probably been on this channel for a long time but don't at me you might be new here but if you're new here wow man shoot you're doing a good job let's see here um I heard agriculture. Somebody here is planting a lot of fruits and veggies in their backyard. Beautiful. Um, they're saying, you know, everything is love, okay? So planting even is love, okay? Let's see here. What? Oh, 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 oh. Um, the, 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 the Wheel of Fortune here is changing. A lot of you guys, you're like, I did the work. I did this. I did that. Where's the changes? What's happening? What's around me? Baby, you're not seeing the changes. The changes are within you, okay? The changes within you are more important than the changes outside, okay? Because the changes within you just changes things even faster than an action-oriented decision. Listen, don't at me, but this changes and then the environment does. Just how... An example, an example is that when you go to the gym a lot, sometimes you might not see a difference because maybe you're not putting the nutrition. What's the nutrition? The inside. That's an example. It's not nothing nutrition related, but you know, it's like an example of how what we feed ourselves inside our mind, our thoughts, that's what counts more than what we're actually doing. I mean, the actions plays a role, but it's not more important than what's inside. You can say, you know, that you're so confident, you're so hot, but if inside you, you're not feeling that way about yourself, if inside you, you, you judge yourself so meanly, you know, I do say though, when you do say things out loud, like you're hot and you're beautiful, that works too, but I'm going to need you guys to believe it more inside. I'm not saying you're not believing it, but I feel like a lot of you guys, um, you're confused as to why things are not changing. Maybe it's that, maybe you're not putting in, um, more affirmations knight of pentacles knight of swords death whoa this is beauty this is really nice um somebody here has a lot of options in love a lot of options in love they're saying pick the taurus pick the one that's chasing you pick the one that is obsessed not in a toxic manner guys when i mean obsessed is like you know you're the first thing they think about when they wake up not obsessed that, that you know they want to know who's your brother and your cousin okay um Somebody here is coming in for somebody here single. My single's watching here. Love is knocking on your door. Please open the door, okay? Don't be scared to be hurt, all right? Uh, the reason why everything is such a risk, friendships, relationships, because you're not scared to be hurt. You've done the work. You know if that person messes up, that's their fault. You can have yourself. You can you can heal yourself. You can get over this. You've, you've gotten over so many other things. So how can you not get over this? So before you think somebody's going to hurt you, maybe you were attracted to pile number one. Before you think somebody was gonna hurt, it's going to hurt you, think about the ways how you're going to get over it if they do. You'll be fine if they do. You'll be fine if they hurt you. The importance is to trust and trust in the opportunities that life brings you, brings you whether it's relationships or friends. Um, big changes in the finances department. A lot of you guys are going to start being sta um, more um, stable. Um, I see here a lot more funds coming in. Income constantly increasing. Okay. Um, temperance. A lot of balance in this pile. I really don't have to say much to you guys, pile three, to be honest. I do see here some ex energy. Somebody here has an ex husband that's very freaking salty and annoying. Um, I don't know who this is, or it could even could be an ex wife. It could be an air sign or even a fire sign. I'm not even gonna lie. I heard Earth shit. 
but um this person is heavily annoying um the message here for you guys is to remain in your peace don't let this person's actions ruin your emotions sometimes we tend to let people's words actions affect us and it's okay to be hurt it's okay to recognize your feelings and be like why did i hurt me but what's not okay is to make your life all about what that person said or literally living through those person's words, okay? Somebody here really, really wants to be with you. And I don't feel like, I feel like you don't believe it because maybe this person is out of your league. Maybe they're, they're not as attractive or they don't make as much money as you. But spirit is saying to give it a chance, give it a rock, okay? I know nowadays, you know, everybody wants to date people better than them, date people that are, have more money than them. In a, in a society like that, um, I'm not trying to discourage anybody from their standards and what they like. But if you can give somebody a chance that really, really, they give you the time, they, they give you the love, they give you the support, they're there for you, they take care of you when you're sick, you know, why not, all right? At the end of the day, we're not taking money to the grave we're not taking things material items to the grave we only take our memories we only take the love that was there all right i don't know who needed to hear that whether this is a man or a woman watching okay knight of swords oh my god so yeah somebody here is saying please don't let money be the reason for you walking away from somebody because Because life could really switch really quickly. I'm not saying struggle with somebody. I'm not saying that. Because even if you're a woman, um, women are not really um, here to be struggling with um, partners. But, you know, if it's just that this person is just out of your league, don't, don't close the door. Don't close the door. I'm not saying struggle. Not the struggle love here. I don't, I don't support that. Okay, I don't support that struggle love stuff here. But... You know, um, don't close the door on real love. But hey, if you have your standards and you want to stick to that, go ahead. That's you. But if you don't really care about it, they're saying, you know, don't let the outside media, the people influence you into, you know, ruining a good thing because of materialism. All right. I don't know who needed to hear that. Somebody here is a Libra and Aquarius watching. Your mom misses you. I don't know who needed to hear that. Whether your mom passed away or is in a different country or you are not speaking to your mom at the moment. Your mom misses you a lot. I'm getting like a mother here. Mother relationship, a mother wound. Somebody's saying here that you're eating a lot of sweets because of a mother wound. I don't know who needed to hear that. Let's hear some check-in. Um, Let's hear some spiritual check-in for my pal number threes. I'm getting very tired. I feel like somebody here needs to take a nap. Oh, maybe that's me. Um, Seven of Cups, and then we have here the King of Swords. Get away from people that don't make you a priority. Somebody need to hear that. Um, I also am getting here to be very strict with your goals. A lot of you guys... I, I, I'm not I'm not trying to call y'all out, but listen, you want to start things and then you do them and then you just stop. And then you wonder why things don't go don't go or work out for you. First of all, keep that mouth shut. My number one rule um for anything that you start is keep that mouth shut. People don't need to know what you're doing until you're doing it. Second of all, keep going. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. Keep don't just do it once and be like, oh, I'm bored. F this. I'm not going nowhere. Um Real success does not happen overnight, okay? Sometimes, <laughs> but not all the time. Sometimes when you want to build a really strong foundation, you're going to fail in the beginning. You might not be successful in the beginning, but it's when you show up again and again and again that things start to build themselves, okay? Your knowledge starts to build itself. You start to become from a rookie to a veteran in business or in your career or in your studies. Okay, just keep doing it. Um, a air sign man here. Mm. A air sign man. Somebody here is worried that their father is not going to put them in an inheritance or something like that. 
um they are okay they are gonna put you in the inheritance i just feel like maybe you don't have the best relationship with a father figure and you might think that maybe you're not gonna get anything but you are that's for somebody that had to hear that um somebody boss here is very cheap and how can i explain it this is somebody that commands a lot from their workers but they don't really do much for the workers you know what i mean like and it's reminding me of the time when i used to work you know it used to, it, it wasn't a big of a deal but you know i had a boss that you know he will buy us hot chocolate you know on a good day and i'm not saying whoa that's you know Really, Jaylene, you're going to fold because your boss got you hot chocolate? No, it, it's not that. It's just, it's the little things that, you know, make people feel good about their job or make them feel good about what they're doing. And I feel like somebody here has a really boss. And this person, you know, they're just very ungrateful. And what they're saying here is that sooner or later, you're going to have to leave this job because the energy is just not there and you're not appreciated the way that you might think you are. Okay, so let's see here for my people and then um in relationships. Spiritual check in for my people in relationships. Um somebody here has to stop being so mean to their partner. Somebody here's being mean. To the partner whether that's you or them and if you are the person that's being mean be nicer guys this is this is somebody that's supposed to be your best friend all right you don't have to judge them so harshly and criticize everything they do or be mean to them but if you're the one that's you know they're being mean to you they they, they come up in every way they can in your life they're so perfect in your life but sometimes they can be a little bit mean you need to tell them that you don't appreciate that and that if they want to be around you for longer. If they see a future with you, they're going to have to change that little attitude. I don't know who needed to hear that. For my singles here watching, you're, listen, a lot of you guys here, you are stunning. Stop being ashamed of going on first dates or ashamed of meeting new people. Stop fearing the worst when you date people. I said that on Pow 2 again. Um, stop fearing, stop holding yourself back, stop fearing that people are going to hurt you because people are going to always hurt you one day, okay? Somebody's going to hurt you, but it's not as, you know, crazy as you might think it is, okay? It's not that the person might hurt us, shit. Um, they don't owe us not to hurt us, okay? I don't know who needed to hear that. People do not owe us to not hurt us. Okay, but you owe yourself to pick yourself up at the end of the day. That's what you do owe yourself. The fact that you know that you can pick yourself up after that. That you know that if that person hurts you one day, you'll be fine. You'll be fine and you'll be good to go. Um, Somebody here, again, it's coming up. Somebody here is dating a, a Libra, Sagittarius person here. This person, they have a lot of ladies. They have a lot of people on their roster. Uh, they want to let you know that, you know, they have a lot of friends. Opposite sex, they have a life going on for themselves. And if they're not putting you as a priority, you need to go. Because a person will always tell you who they are. It's just your job to listen. So if they're telling you, listen, I'm not really that interested. Um, I have other people. I have other friends. Um, well, I'd rather be with my friends. You know, they already told you how they felt about you. And it's that you're not that important and they don't really care. So do yourself a pay do yourself a favor. Care for yourself and move the hell on. Somebody here named Bob. Um, um, Jacob. Natalie. Milani or Maria. A lot of you guys are doing the work. I feel like um Spirit might be very proud of you. You've been avoiding a lot of dramas. The five of wands in reverse. You've been avoiding things. You've been doing things that make you happy. And with the world in reverse, I, I just see somebody that is not scared to um, not impress the world. I feel like you're done with impressing people that don't do nothing for you. You're done trying to prove a point. You're done trying to get along with everybody. You're just done. 
You want people to know that you feel the way that you feel about them or that, you know, that you're okay with the way that they feel about you. Somebody here is a tourist. Somebody here is getting their nose done. Don't be nervous. It's going to be fine. I heard hat of lies. Somebody is giving you a hat of lies. And let me tell you something. You already knew this person was a liar. You already knew that this person was not what they may seem to be. You know what I mean? Somebody, um, if, some, if you have a child with somebody, um, that person is going to be lying about some finances. They're going to need your help in something, but it's a lie. They're trying to use you. I don't know who needed to hear that. I mean, take care of your kids, but when you feel like a story is funky, please believe that. All right? I'm so sorry here, but somebody's been taking away somebody's child. Like somebody was trying to take your child away from you or trying to, you know, um, make you spend less time with your child. That's going to be changing soon. That's a spiritual check in that I'm getting in, like what's happening right now. Like, you know, that the, the path is getting cleared, okay, of that. Nobody will be able to separate you from your child. Some of you guys, I don't know who needs to hear this. Stop complaining to other people about your children. You want somebody to talk to? Oh my God, I can't handle them. I can't do this. I can't do that. Guess what? Children are a reflection of you, an extension of you. I don't care. Oh, well, they're the bottom of the barrel. Oh, well, they do this and they do that. Something is in connection. Something is in connection here with your parenting or you. But that's not the point of here because I'm not here to shame any, no parents here. All right? You can treat a child like the world and you don't even know how they're going to turn out. And that's fine. I'm not here to shame anybody. For, you know, no parents here or even children here. Anybody that has parents that are a little off the grid, you know what I mean? Because that is that does occur sometimes. But um what it's saying here though is that stop complaining about a child because you're just creating um like rumors about your child and maybe even your own parenting styles. Um I heard somebody needs to keep the family's business in the business. I didn't get the ten of pentacles for this pile. That's really crazy though. But I got a lot of energies, a lot of people here. A lot of, a lot of people is going to have to, yo, a lot of people got a lot to say about who you are as a person. I think you know that already. I think it doesn't bother you. But the spiritual check in here is that something's going to happen with you that's going to shock the people around you. And it's probably going to make people think very differently about you. Maybe because of an action that you make or an action that you made in the past, but nobody knew about it. So keep that in mind there. Somebody might want to change in job. Um, you'll be able to change it in three months. No rush. <laughs> What's meant for you will be there for you. All right. Last couple of messages my, on my spiritual check-in for my pal number three. Spiritual check-in. Three of Pentacles and the Page of Swords in the reverse. Um, somebody wants you to be more involved with their family or somebody wants you to be more involved with the people around them. Maybe you're shy. Maybe you want to come around your, your person's friends or their family or, you know, whoever they're around. There's, the energy is here saying that it will be very beneficial for your relationship so that you get around the people that they love. I don't know who needed to hear that. For some here, so for some viewers watching here, don't be scared of love. Don't be scared to be a good friend. Don't be scared to be there for others. I know you've been hurt. I know you've done the work. I know you love being alone. I know that you're comfortable with what you built for yourself. You got it all. You could do it all. But I'm gonna need you to take that leap of faith. You'll love the memories and you will thank yourself later. A lot. Okay, guys, it's not about people hurting us. People can hurt us at any given moment. They don't, they do not own us loyalty or a peaceful time, but we owe us that. All right. And we owe us the fact that if anything happens, we got our back. Okay. So that's all for today. Thank you so much for clicking on this reading. Bye, guys.